Welcome back, guys. We're now just one month away from the year and a half mark on this test. Also being what will most likely be the last update next month. We'll then, of course, do our decontamination wash to see if it brings any of these products back from the dead. So this is our 25-way graphene-only products longevity test. As you've heard me say in other videos, you should continue to see an update for me every day for the rest of the month here on out. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon to get notifications when a new video is up. If the bell icon isn't working, you have to unsubscribe and resubscribe as it was a past issue that the channel had accidentally getting marked safe for kids. It is finally cooling off here in Texas, so let's see how things are getting on. All of the intense summer heat is behind us now. As usual, we'll foam everything down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. This hood is rotated either 90 or 180 degrees after each update so it doesn't stay in the same spot all the time. The last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather is on your screen here. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are getting on. So things are looking quite tired. Drive Auto Nano just barely hanging in there, as is Drive Auto Graphene. 4210H, that's been a pretty good surprise. That's our cheap Amazon product that I think I paid $25 or so. Probably one of the better performing ones at this point, which isn't saying much. But IGL Easy Graphene, eh. IGL Kinzo Standard versus Graphene. Standard looks like it's doing a little bit better than the Graphene version. Both just a little bit hanging on there. You can see after it's sat there for a little bit, there's a little bit of a difference. We had Adams marked failed and there's a little bit that came back on it for some reason and SPS graphene still doing all right. So I don't, and gloss it as well. I don't think there's any new failures to report this month, but next month it's probably not going to be good the way they're looking. Add another month to this. No, no real standouts, but I guess a surprise for me would be the 4210H graphene. Um, yeah, stay tuned next month. We're going to do a decontamination wash, see if we can bring any of these back from the dead, and we'll go from there. Yeah, they are, they are all looking pretty sad. IGL Easy Graphene, that one's rated for a year. And it's lasted longer than that. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.